How would you advise this administration to proceed over the next, uh, let's just say over the next year, uh, while uh, this Mueller thing is obviously winding down? Well, I think that there's a whole number of things that the president um, can and should do. I think he needs to bring this current fight to a head inside this next two weeks. I think he either has to come to some kind of accommodation with the Democrats, which I think is going to be is highly unlikely, or he has to use his emergency powers and, and force the courts to make this decision. Because otherwise, this will just linger into the 2020 election without things being done, and I think that will do real political damage to him and to our party. So he's got some work to do over the next two weeks in that regard. But where do we go from here? I still think, Laura, that, that there's more to be done on deregulation and on the economy. And I, I really think the president, you know, I saw the, um, the report uh, you know, today about jobs for January, which, you know, they're not the official numbers yet. They're the unofficial private sector numbers. But it looks like we've done over 200,000 jobs again in the month of January. I really think the president is the best salesman we have. And I think he needs to get out on the road a couple of days a week and be selling what he's accomplished. You went through just a, you know, a small list of the things he's accomplished, the major highlights. Um, this is a president who said he was going to get us a better deal with Canada and Mexico, and he did. This is a president who said he was going to cut taxes. He did. He's deregulated. He's put conservatives on the court. But what he really needs to go out and sell is the economy. And he's got to go out and remind people about what we were languishing in under Barack Obama and what his – tax cuts, his regulatory reform is done. And so I would say over the next year, unfortunately for the president, I think this is going to be a two-year campaign for him, too. Yep. And I don't believe in the Rose Garden strategy. No. Donald Trump is not a Rose Garden guy. He is an on the hustings, at the plants, at the factories, um, you know, at the stadiums, the arenas kind of guy. And I put him out on the road starting now two days a week. And let him go out and sell the success of this administration, get in the face of Democrats who say there's something wrong with this kind of great economic growth. Let him make that argument. Because I think it's a losing argument for 2020. 